Okay, so before we get into this video, I just want to say I'm not a CPA. None of this is financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult an accountant if you have any questions and all of that. Don't sue me. Okay, thanks. So every time I post a gig vlog, I get at least a couple people commenting and asking how much I made on that gig. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly how much I made on the last gig that I played. I'll start with the income part and then I'll break down the expenses and we'll go from there. So the agreed amount for this gig was $200 per person. It was a trio gig and it was from 4.30 p.m. to 7.30. Now we made a $120 tip on top of that just from someone that was at the event so split between three people that's 40 extra dollars each we didn't have like a tip jar out or anything typically with paid gigs you don't put out a tip jar unless like the person hiring you says it's okay sometimes it'll be a lower paid gig and they'll say you can put out a tip jar and you know we'll promote it but yeah that was just someone that handed us some cash as we were packing up now we also got free food and really good food so that's always a plus typically if you're playing for an event or somewhere where there is food the venue will provide that for you which sometimes can make all the difference on a gig okay so now let's get into the expenses so so the first expense I had was parking. Now parking in the city is typically free after 6 p.m. But like I said, the gig was from 4.30 to 7.30. So I was there early at around 3.30 just to help set up and everything. So I think I paid from 3.31 to 6 p.m. And that cost me $9.92. I could have parked in a garage, but it would have cost me a lot more. And I really don't mind walking because as a horn player, I don't have that much to carry. Also, parking isn't always an expense. It just depends on the gig. And in this case, it was. Now there are two other expenses that I want to take into consideration that I don't normally think of on a per gig basis. But for the purpose of this video and just getting an accurate bottom line, I'm going to bring them up and that is gas or mileage and reads. The first one is pretty obvious. You have to get to the gig somehow, and for me, that meant driving. Now, you don't actually expense the amount that you spend on gas, but rather you keep track of the amount of miles that you drive for gigs. There are a few reasons for this, but a big one is that most people use the same vehicle for their business use as their personal use, and personal use isn't deductible, so it's just easier to keep track of your miles. The way it works is the IRS issues like a standard mileage deduction number every year, and for 2021, that number is 56 cents per mile. So in my case, I had to drive 48 miles round trip, so 48 miles times 56 cents a mile means that I spent $26.88 on my mileage deduction. Now, lastly, I want to take into account buying reeds. If I don't buy reeds, I can't play my instrument, and that means I can't play gigs, which is how I make income. Now, typically, I don't think of this as a per gig expense. This is kind of just something I buy as I need, but like I said, I'm just going to break it down for the purpose of this video. Please bear with me because this is where some math gets involved. <laughs> so, on average, I go through one box of 10 reeds every month. The average amount that I spend on a box of reeds is $35.59. So, divided by 10 reeds, that means each reed is about $3.55. So $3.55 per read every three days means I'm spending about $1.18 per day on reads. So that's probably about what I spent on a read to play this gig. But like I said, I don't really keep track of buying reads like that, but it is an expense that I have and I wouldn't be able to play the gig without them. Okay, so here's the bottom line. I made $240, including the tip, and I spent $37.98 on expenses. So that means my taxable income for that gig is $202.02. .02. Wait, did you say taxable income? So there's one last thing to consider and that is taxes. For almost all gigs, you're considered an independent contractor, which for tax purposes is different than an employee. I won't go into all the specifics, but the main difference is employees have taxes taken out of their paycheck before they get them, whereas independent contractors have to take them out once they get paid. Basically what I do is take 30% of everything that I make and push it into a separate bank account for tax withholding purposes. The amount that you withhold depends on a lot of factors like the state you live in and what your annual income is. 30% is on the safe side and I realistically could probably do 20% but I just like to have a little cushion so that when I file taxes the following year I have enough money that I can just pay my tax bill and not have to worry about not having enough. So anyways 30% of $202.02 is $60.60 which means the amount that I'm left with in my pocket after paying all my expenses and putting money away for taxes is $141.42. So there you go. That's an in-depth breakdown of exactly how much I made on my last gig. Hopefully my math is right. I'm actually pretty bad at math. So if there are mistakes, just let me know. <laughs> Usually I can get away with like addition and subtraction and uh, every gig is different and I've played gigs where I've made more and I've played gigs where I've made less. But hopefully this was useful for those of you that were interested and have been asking. And for those of you that weren't, hopefully it wasn't too boring. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to tax the like button so I know. I probably won't do a breakdown of every single gig that I play, but if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.